See, uh, right now the most important thing is policy. Without policy, if you and me start doing something individually, it's good but it's not a solution. We have… Uh, you know, we have transformed in the last twenty-seven years about hundred and thirty thousand, one point three lakh farmers into tree-based agriculture. Their incomes have gone up anywhere between three hundred to eight hundred percent. Soil organic content has come up significantly, water tables have come up, everything is great. But still it's not a solution, hundred and thirty thousand is not a solution. Now we are working in the Kaveri Basin which accounts for eighty-three thousand square kilometers and five point two million farmers. Even if we manage to do that, it's still not a solution because soil ecology needs to improve globally. These uh, state borders and national borders mean nothing for life, it's only a human problem that we draw a line and we believe this line is absolute. For the sake of administration, okay, you rule that one, I rule this one is a different matter. But you think this is absolute, the planet is a piece of… Uh, is a cake and you have cut it these pieces and you're going to take your own piece and go away somewhere, it's not going to work like that because the microbial life is a global phenomenon. It needs to happen that way. This is why this movement is a global effort to change policy. Unless every nation does that, there will be no significant difference. Why I'm saying this is, see, even if you improve your soil, let us say you have thousand acres and you make it fantastic. Even if you do that, it's good. No, I'm not saying it's not good, it's good. But right now, according to UNFAO, on an average, Twenty-seven thousand species of organisms are going extinct per year. At this rate, it is estimated that somewhere between twenty-five to forty years from now, it is possible that this slide which is happening right now will go into a tumble. Once it goes into a tumble, there is nothing you can do. So if your thousand acres is very rich, you may survive for another two, three, four, five years more than the rest. But it will also hit you because microorganisms cannot be cultivated just in your thousand acres. It needs to happen all around. This is why policy change is very important. The problem why these things have not happened the way it should happen is, there is no strategic approach. Uh, everybody wants to roll up their sleeves and want to do something today. So what will you do? You will go and fix in your… fix your kitchen garden. Uh, that's very cute, but that's not a solution. So first thing is we must decide, are we doing this for personal satisfaction or are we doing this because we are genuinely seeking a solution? For me, it's about solution. For me, I don't need any personal satisfaction. If I close my eyes, I'm finished. I don't have to do any damn thing in the world. So I don't need to do these things to prove something or need to do this for my satisfaction because as a generation of people, we have a tremendous challenge in front of us. At the same time, we have a great privilege that if we act now, in the next ten, fifteen years time, we can make a significant turnaround. But if you let this go for another twenty-five, thirty, let's say forty years time, after that even if you try, however hard you try, you will not be able to turn this around because the whole world is driving towards a famine.